viewers welcome to my channel cook with sana khuram this is sana today i'm going to share with you a recipe which will make you drool as you hear the name yes pamper yourself with this melt in mouth no bake but scotch pastry with layers of soft caramel sauce and nutty crunches and whipped cream come let's indulge into it for making the pralin take a pan and dry roast half a cup of cashews and peanuts dry roast them for about 2 minutes keep them aside and in the same pan take about half a cup of sugar which is about 100 grams i've taken white sugar and add 2 tablespoons of water to it mix it well and keep stirring it do it on a medium flame you can see the color has changed and the sugar syrup has started to thicken now reduce the flame add the peanuts and the cashews now and add 1 tablespoon of butter and switch off the stove now take a greased plate and spread the mixture on the plate i have greased it with butter spread it nicely and cool it for 30 minutes Now it has been cooled. You can scrape them off and break them into small pieces. You can hear the sound. It's so crunchy and nice. You can just hear the sound. How crunchy! Now put them into a Ziploc pouch. And crush them into some tit bits using a rolling pin. Don't powder them. they have to be coarse in texture now our pralin or the butterscotch crunch is ready keep it aside now time to make the caramel sauce for this take a pan and add quarter cup of unsalted butter let the butter melt don't overheat it to this add half a cup of whipping cream and about half a cup of sugar and whisk well i've taken white sugar and add a pinch of salt keep stirring it now it has started bubbling now keep whisking it now the color has changed to light brown now you can add Quarter teaspoon of vanilla essence, and switch off the stove. And it has to be on the pouring consistency. Strain the mixture well. Don't overcook it, else it will become very chewy and it will turn out to be a toffee. Now our caramel sauce is ready. Keep it aside. Now we can start making the whipped cream. Take a mixing bowl. and add 1 cup of whipping cream and quarter cup of powdered sugar and quarter teaspoon of butterscotch essence and two drops of yellow food color now whisk it with a hand blender You should whisk it till the cream attains that soft pea consistency. Now you can see soft peaks have been formed and it doesn't drip from the blades. Now whipped cream is ready. Now we can make the sugar syrup. Take a bowl and add one tablespoon of sugar, powdered sugar. and add two drops of butterscotch essence and add little water to it and mix well strain the mixture and keep aside now sugar syrup is ready now 
we can assemble everything take a glass dish and arrange the ready to eat vanilla cake slices now pour the caramel sauce into a sauce dispenser take a toothpick and prick the cakes with that so that they absorb the sugar syrup well now mask the cakes with the sugar syrup using a brush the cakes will absorb the moisture and become soft now spread the whipped cream over the cakes spread them with a spatula and smoothen them now pour the caramel sauce over the whipped cream pour it lavishly now sprinkle the praline or the butterscotch crunches over the caramel sauce now make the second layer with the cakes just like the first procedure now pour the caramel sauce on top and sprinkle the butterscotch crunches or the praline refrigerate it for about 3 hours and serve it our no bake butterscotch pastry is ready If you like my video please hit a like share and please press the bell icon to subscribe to my channel for my video updates thank you very much